Well, hello there, good people. Hi, I'm Jason with Green Country Agroforestry. And sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. I just got done recording a little bit of a video that you'll see coming out here in another couple of weeks um, where I'm preparing and charging some biochar. Oh, hey. So my hands are a bit dirty, but uh, today I'm out here to get started on planting these guys. These are rabbit eyes, high bush blueberry bushes. And I've got, I think, eight of them in this bundle here. I'll find out for sure once I cut it open. Like I said, these are all southern high bush variety, rabbit eyes specifically, blueberry bushes. Now you have two varieties. There's a teeth blue, which are here in red. And the other one is called Climax. What is this one here? So teeth blue and Climax. And they're in pairs so they can cross pollinate. That's it. Okay, out there is the pear tree, and then there's, let's see, there's the pear tree right there. And then we've got the hazelnut tree. I think in between those two would be a spot for one. And then we'll put another one there in between these two hazelnut trees. There's two. Let's say in between this hazelnut and that pecan tree, that'll be three. And I'll put another one, well, sorry. Put another one on the other side of the tree, that would be four. Then I have to measure this off. There'll be a room for a hazelnut. And then another hazelnut before we get to the fence. So I think I can get five there. All right, now this spot's going to require a little bit of groundwork. So I can put one there, one there, and another one there right before we get to the, right before we get to the, uh, gas meter. All right. About 10 feet in between each of the hazelnut trees and 10 feet from the base of the hazelnut trees to the pecan tree. Halfway in between that distance, 5 feet, good space, put a blueberry tree. Bush, blueberry bush. We'll just put a little bit to the side of where that pecan tree is. There we go. Because the property line is pretty close to here. Those already familiar with my planting methods already know what I'm doing here. But for those who don't, I'll explain. The secret behind my planting technique is to dig out the space for the root ball, or whatever it is I'm planting. Fill it all the way with water, just like so. And once the hole is filled with water, assuming of course that the water doesn't immediately drain out due to some cavity down at the bottom of the hole. We don't have that problem here. I backfill it with the dirt that came from the hole. No soil amendments, nothing. Just the dirt that came from the hole. I use this dirt to form a nice, thick mud. Thicker the better. Okay, 
once I've formed a mud pie, take the tree that I'm planting, press it down into the mud, past ground level, then I pull it back up to the point where I want it to sit at. Make any orientation adjust adjustments that need to be made at that time. Then I'll come back and mulch in. After the mud set. That's pretty simple. Trees with a good thick, thick mud. Your new tree or berry bush or whatever it is you're planting will have really good soil contact. So you just put it into the hole, press it down below the surface level, and then pull it back up to let it set. Just like so. Now this bush will grow in this space like it was always there. No air gaps. Well, I did mention that I had secrets and this is one of them hey well that's all i got for you today good people as always if you found the video informative or entertaining hey you know what to do i will catch you next time